All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakudash. Double honors. <clears throat> Slakia. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, who were well. And salutation, much love to Yaakim out there pushing out his word in truth and sincerity. This is Brother Ash from Great Millstone, Tampa, back with another lesson. Lord's Lord is going to be edifying to the hopeful elect. And uh, you know, I'm just going to go into a few scriptures here I was meditating on. You know, because you got a lot of guys that come into the truth, didn't count the cost, or they get disgruntled, or really, ultim ultimately, really, they just didn't have the faith to continue. As the scriptures say, um, uh, in, in the book of Mark, it's uh, Mark 13 and 13, and, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. So you got a lot of guys that come into this truth and don't endure. And they think just because they call upon the names of the Lord, you know, and they teach heresies, really, because a lot of these guys come in and just change up the doctrine eventually. That's how you know the spirit has left them. You know, they start changing up the doctrine, you know. Come start coming with every wayward doctrines. Forgot who, who they learned the, the truth from. Scripture say, uh, remember uh, what thou has learned and, and who else thou who has thou learned them from, roughly paraphrasing. But it is what it is. These guys are are brought in, as the scriptures say, crept in unawares, with sheep's uh wolf and sheep clothing. There's one that teaches many, but is unprofitable to himself, so on and so forth. So, like Matthew 22 and 14 says, for many are called, but few are chosen, all right? Just because they call, they know they're Israelite and see they got some a garment or maybe a t-shirt with fringes. And they're pulling out precepts. That don't mean they're part of the elect at the end of the day. He that endured to the, same, to the end, the same shall be saved. You shall know a tree by its fruit as well, all right? If it has bad fruit, then you know the tree's corrupt, so to say. But again, not everybody that knows their Israelite is part of the elect. The Most High has a small sanctuary, Israel of the Most High, the remnant, okay? And again, just because you know you're Israelite don't mean you're part of the elect. The, the the elect, most specifically the the servants, <laughs> and Salakia, um, they're gonna be showing by their, uh, they're gonna show their faith by their works. You can read that in the book of James, but uh, let's get in uh, Luke nine and sixty two. Well, actually, hold on. I'll, I'll come back to that. <clears throat> Let me see here. What, did, what am I looking for? Okay. Nope. Let me get um, uh, Second Peter's. This is Second Peter's chapter one, verse ten. Exact, uh, like I read earlier, it said many are called, but few are chosen. Second Peter's one and ten. Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your call and election sure. For if you do the do these things, ye shall never fail. So the elect, what are they going to be doing? Not only are they going to try to, or not try, but they're going to endure to the end. They're going to be trying to make their call and election sure, and that's how they're going to endure to the end. All right, taking heed to the word of the Lord and changing their ways, of course. All right, let's get that in the um, different translations here. Second Peter 1 and 10 in the NLT says, So, dear brothers and sisters, work hard to prove that you are really among those God has called and chosen. You got to work hard. Hard work. What, what Floyd Mayweather used to say, hard work. All right. 
make your call of election sure you want to put it like they say leave it all out on the field that's how you're going to be able to identify the elect all right because they're going to put into work to prove their faith say it's work hard to prove that you are really among those called or among those god has called and chosen do these things and you will never fall away you got to put in the work all right you know, the scriptures say, whatever you put your hand to, do it with all thy might. Let's read in NIV. It says, therefore, my brothers and sisters, make every effort to confirm your calling and election. For if you do these things, you, you will never stumble. And you will receive a rich welcome into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. See, so we have an award to work for, to be obtained Something that is to be uh, obtained it has to be worked for. Let's see now. Salakia. Let's see what else here. Let's go to the BBE translation. BBE says, for this reason, my brothers, take all the more care to make your selection and, and approval certain. For if you do these things, you will never fall. Okay. Pretty simple there. And again, some of the people aren't. The people that some people that have been called aren't aren't doing these things, aren't working hard. They're not uh, continuing to, to, to plow. Okay. They're not taking this seriously. They didn't count the costs. They think this is a game. They want to be seen of men. They change up the doctrine. All right, this is this is madness. It bring confusion into the ministry, and this is something that the Lord does not like. Uh, Luke nine and sixty two, and Yahweh said sent it to him. No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh. So, you got these guys that have come into the truth. Or have found the truth, come into the ministry, have gone out there on the highways and byways, and then they've dropped the plow down. You got some Muppets, these guys that used to be a part of Great Millstone, haven't done, I forget, uh, what are they called? Uh, it's, uh, spiritual lessons, spiritual dehydration, that's what it should be called. Haven't done videos in weeks. Here they were, they were going hard to come up against us. Now, since we don't talk about them no more, they've just floated into the abyss. Um, let's see what these other translations say here. But Yahweh told him, anyone who puts a hand to the plow and then looks back is not fit for the kingdom. BBE. No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is good enough for the kingdom. See, so you're not good enough. You put your hand to the plow. Now you know, you go to the book, chapter Luke 12. These people that know, they're not making their carnal election sure. They know the will of the master. They're going to be beaten with many stripes. All right. More than the one that is ignorant. Don't know nothing. All right. So let's go to Luke 13 and... Um, I mean, uh, actually, no, that's not what I want to hear. You just continue to hit on the point, you know, to make your call in an election. Sure, work hard, put in the hard work, all right? Go above and beyond for the Lord. You can never do enough. You can never praise the Lord enough. You can never go above and beyond and, 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 and do uh, too much for the Lord. It's, I mean, as far as in righteousness, yeah, you, you can do too much. And be bugging out. But I'm saying you can never do too much ser serving of the Lord. You know. There's always more to do when it comes to the ministry. However, you don't want to go uh, be over righteous and bug yourself out. You know. You don't want to just put up videos with no edification. So I got to put up a video today. So, and then you just throw up, you know, GMO the scriptures say, uh, the Lord told, if you love me, feed, told Peter, if you love me, feed my sheep. You're supposed to feed them good, wholesome, 
uh, meals, good wholesome uh, lessons, so to say, edification, okay? And you want to do everything you can, and, and, it go, and it's more than just doing videos, you want to live this word, you know, walk in the spirit, all right? You want to walk in the light. You don't want to walk in darkness or be joint or be in fellowship with darkness. You have to walk it. You have to live this word. And so it's more than just doing videos and going out there and screaming at people. It's living this word, changing your ways. Again, making your call and election sure is, is, is actually changing your life, serving the Lord. And not being a hypocrite. And it's going to come to the point where you're going to have to make a choice where you want to live for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, or you want to live for yourself and and bow to take bow the knee to Satan and, and receive his mark. But as the scriptures say, Sirach 4 and uh, 28, strive for the truth unto death and the Lord shall fight for thee. So you're supposed to constantly... Be striving for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, making your call and election sure, showing him that you're worthy for salvation, and then he'll fight for you. Once you once once you fight, once you show the Lord and fight for Him, all right, making your call and election sure, and being persecuted, and being hated, like we read in Mark thirteen and thirteen, being hated for His name's sake, then the Lord will fight for you. This is on, in the GNT Sirach 4 and 28. It says, stand up for what is right, even if, if it costs you your life. The Lord God will be fighting on your side. So you stand up for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai now, and he's going to stand up for you in the time of trouble. All right, so we'll go ahead and end it off on one more uh, scripture here. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 4 says, no man that... Um, the no man that walked in, I uh, started verse three, <clears throat> thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Yeah. And a good soldier is going to prove himself. He's going to make himself, he's going to put that hard work in because you want to what? Get a uh, promote. You want the promotions. You want to get, uh, you know. You want to please your, your your commander, all right, your general, your leader, all right. It says, "No man that warth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life." Right? We don't. We're not to be concerned with the affairs of this world, man. Our main, uh, um, you know, the main thing we should be focused on is this truth, the ministry, all right, serving Yahweh by Hashem Yahshai, making your calling and election sure. It says that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. So we have to, our whole duty is to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's it. That's what we're here for. Of course, we got to do our daily bullshit to, to maintain in this bullshit society. But our whole life, our whole occupation, our whole duty is to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Verse 5 And if a man also strive for mas masteries, yet is he not crowned except he strive lawfully? The husbandman that laboreth must must be first partaker of the of the fruits. There you go, man. That's, the, that's really the point I wanted to hit on. You know, so hey, count your blessings and continue to fight and make your call and election sure. Show yourself worthy to your how about Shimia Shai. Work hard for your crown. Okay. So with that, Lord's willing, this is edifying to the whole for the leg. And they give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, a great millstone who rule well. Much love and salutation to the elect of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom.